What's up guys? So the other day, the other day one of my videos where I caught Justin Trudeau like doing some weird stuff with his nose like uh, cocaine addicts. Uh, in my video I was talking about when they spliced videos of Pierre Polyev and they, they merged them together and um, made it sound like Pierre was saying things that he wasn't saying using his voice but they used multiple videos and merged it together. So they were trying to make it look like Pierre was asking for a non-confidence motion for dental care. For news agency to accept. I'm not sure that we should wave it away as just a mistake because this is not a misattribution. Uh, it's not even taking part of the same sentence and applying it in a different context. Yep. This is taking a full paragraph, a variety of sentences that Pierre Polyev said, taking bits and pieces from each sentence to craft a new sentence. Yeah. That is journalistic malpractice. Okay, so so just, and, and I'm not defending this, I'm explaining this. The sentence that Pierre Polyev said is, uh, that's why it's time to put forward a motion for a carbon tax election. For whatever reason, they spliced together different things he said in that scrum to create the sentence, that's why we need to put forward a motion. Now, it's not like it was changed to him saying something outrageous. It's not a sentence he uttered. Uh, it does not say it's about a carbon tax election, and in the way it was presented in the story, it makes it sound like he wants an election to stop dental care. Correct. So I get why they feel they're taken out of context, and CTV admitted to that and yeah. apologized for it. But the suggestion... They removed... It's time to... From what he was saying, added the audio of him saying, we need, from another video, and removed the end of the sentence for a carbon tax election. They completely changed the whole sentence. Apology the same day for something that is so egregious that action to be taken is not going to be enough uh, when we're talking about the table stakes of not favorable coverage, fair and balanced coverage. And that's all conservatives are asking for. They're asking for fair coverage. They're not asking for glowing reviews. They just want the, be the, fa the facts to be reported as they are. So I don't think that it is, mm. you know, delving into conspiracy theory. We had three separate sentences. A Frankenstein sentence emerge as a result. That deserves to be called out. And I think that should be called out regardless of who says it in the House of Commons or which journalistic yep. entity makes such a bad decision. But you're making people believe on CTV News that he was calling for a non-confidence vote to remove dental care. So you're making it look like Pierre wants to remove dental care when he never said he was going to remove the, the dental care plan. He says he wants to remove the carbon tax. After Pierre banned his entire party from giving interviews to CTV News or any uh, company that was owned by uh, Bell Media, they did an internal investigation and they ended up uh, firing the two employees that made the fake video right now as we speak you can go check it out yourself if you don't believe me in a video where Pierre says that he wants to do an election for the carbon tax they titled the video like Pierre wants to do a non-confidence motion because of housing right now as we speak after CTV fired these two employees for making fake stories using Pierre. Not just misleading, they created fake evidence, guys. They created Pierre saying something he didn't using multiple videos. So that's a lot of editing involved in that. The non-confidence motion is about the carbon tax. Because they want to quadruple it. Now, CTV News is trying really hard not to let you guys know that the, the, the non-confidence motion was about the carbon tax. That's why Pierre calls it the carbon tax election. Pierre does not mention in the video that they want to quadruple the carbon tax. He does talk a little bit about housing. And then he says that's why he wants to do like a carbon tax election. But he says the words carbon tax election in that video from CTV News. So he does point out that he wants a carbon tax election. But yet, CTV News, in the title of their video, they're still misleading their audience. I'm going to leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for watching.